Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I wanted to let everyone know that an official port of RPCS3 is now available as an alpha release on Android. There is still a lot of work that needs to get done before games can actually be played on it properly, but I do re recommend everyone who is interested to download this port from the developer DHRPCS3. I'll have this project page linked in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment so that it's easy for everyone to find. Just make sure that you're downloading this port from the official GitHub website because someone else has been trying to sell the code for thousands of dollars. It's just never a good idea to blindly install APK files from developers who have a shady reputation like this since you don't know what has been added to the compiled APK that they release. If you've missed out on this drama around the RPCS3 port, then I can understand why. To give everyone a quick summary though, it began when someone claimed to have created a working Android port of the RPCS3 emulator. This is a way to emulate PS3 games on your PC, and the official developers have said they would rather not create an Android port due to the drama and hate that seems to come from the emulation community here. We've seen it cause other emulator developers to stop working on their projects, and I doubt that harassment is going to stop anytime soon, sadly. Since this new port wasn't getting an official release, a no-name developer stepped up and claimed to have worked on the start of a working port. The APK file was uploaded to a GitHub project page, and the developer promised they would release the code to the open source community if they received thousands of dollars in donations. I believe this started out as a $5,000 goal, but was then dropped down to $2,000 after the first wave of complaints started to roll in. They had their project killed on GitHub because the license that the original RPCS3 code was released under does not allow you to sell revisions for profit. Since then, the project has moved off of GitHub, and I still do not recommend that you download or install that version. Interestingly enough though, since this drama has started to bubble up within the Android community, two other developers have stepped up to actually work on proper ports. The first developer to do this was the same one who released Sudachi, a Nintendo Switch emulator that picked up where Yuzu left things off. I don't think much work has gone into that project yet though, since they've already got enough things on their plate right now. But over the last week, we've seen one of the co-founders to the original RPCS3 project saying they will begin working on an Android port for the community. This reputable developer goes by the handle DHRPCS3 on GitHub, but most people know of them as just DH. And while there doesn't seem to be much to look at right now, an alpha release of RPCS3 for Android has been released and it can be installed right now. You'll visit the official GitHub page, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you're going to see a releases section. From here, you can download alpha test build one as an APK file and you can install it right now. There isn't much functionality to the emulator just yet, but the application does load and you can install the PS3 firmware from the slide out menu here. You can also add games using the floating action button down here at the bottom. 
and I suspect that there are going to be some games out there that are actually playable right now. But this list is going to be incredibly small, and I highly doubt it's worth checking out right now. But I wanted to make this video so you knew to avoid the imposter who has been trying to fleece thousands of dollars from the community, and I would like to get this release on everyone's radar. Anyone who has downloaded the RPCS3 port from that thief should get rid of it right now. If it's installed on your device, then uninstall it ASAP. That port is called APS3E, so go through your installed apps and remove it if you have that. Many had suspected that DH wouldn't be able to release anything meaningful for a couple of months, but they have already begun an alpha test and it can be installed right now. I'm hoping the project can get to the point where they're compiling the latest changes from the official repo while tweaking the performance on Android to a viable level. I even have a dedicated video about an application called Obtainium that will check for new updates via GitHub. That way you can keep this official port updated as soon as those new releases are available. But let me know what you think about all of this drama down in the comment section below. I would be curious to hear if you installed a PS3E right when it was released just like I did. And I would be curious to find out if anyone deleted that app as soon as that developer began accepting donations before open sourcing the code. And please, do not forget to like this video as it really helps to keep me motivated here. And subscribe to the channel because we're getting really close to that 100,000 subscriber milestone.